So as we know, Hexer is currently a debuff type class super in Arcane Lineage, but currently its only use is getting outpaced by Assassin builds. Why? Assassins output much more debuffs, damaging ones at that, and, and have a mastery to inflict mass sundered with the poison fan. So why is Hexer so trash? Isn't, isn't the name Hexer, isn't it supposed to apply Hex despite only having one source to apply it in it without any without mastery? Well, to start, let's go over its issues. So it has Inverse Abyss, a 3 energy skill that's supposed to reflect the debuffs back to the enemy when they use a move that inflicts debuffs. However, not all moves are able to be reflected as seen with Alchemist Potion and many other moves. So I suggest to buff Inverse Abyss simply by having it so you can't be debuffed while it's active or until all its charges are used. Also, I feel like it will be a really good support if Inverse Abyss could speed up how fast your debuffs are going by like 2 times, so that will be really useful. And despite the fact that it's called Hexer, it only has one combo at base in order to inflict Hex. In, in Abyss Anchor, which is a stun move, and then you have to subsequently use Dark Glare, which inflicts more debuffs, without using any other stuns before, which takes up two turns. This is very inefficient and makes Hexer very annoying to use. To solve this, simply make it so that Dark Glare has Hex built in and, and make Abyss Anchor have um, hard stun, probably one to two turns of hard stun, because it has masteries that benefit off of people attacking right after you stun the enemy. And to resolve this being too OP if you bring like 5 hexers, just put a hard cooldown on how long a boss has until it can be hard stunned again. So yeah. Also, let's get to Alpha in the room. The 2 times dot mastery is not actually translating to 2 times DOT damage. Since DOT damage was nerfed, it'll make sense if the de if the purely debuff type subclass superclass hexer was able to get more more um more use out of its uh, DOT damage sources. And Hexer really needs something to solidify its use over other dot debuffers since it's specialized only for that. So we should add passive where it bypasses boss immunities. So for example, if you try to give Hex a Thorian, it would actually apply it at a cooldown. So like maybe every 5 turns, he wouldn't resist the debuffs that you, were, you are about to give. I also told the devs that Inverse Abyss could absorb all your debuffs and then explode for gigantic massive damage. But yeah, that's it. And subscribe, I guess. Also, give me VODs in the comments. I am running out of content.